Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial using two Revolution palettes. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a like and please subscribe. Thank you. So I've already gone in and applied my foundation. I've just applied my usual Maybelline Fit Me and I've used the e.l.f. concealer and it is just this one. It's a camo, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium peach. I've just popped this on my eyelids as a base and just on the centre on my face just to cover my bags. Next I'm going to go in with the Revolution Foil Frenzy Creation eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to take this vibrant pink metallic shade here and I'm just going to pop that on the centre of my lids and, and I just want to see how it applies with my finger because sometimes foils definitely do apply better with your finger so I'm just going to try that with my finger. There's literally hardly any colour payoff so it's going to be interesting. Okay, let me try it with a damp brush. So I'm just taking a Zoeva brush and it's a Look Soft Definer 227. Just going to spray that with some setting spray. That's more like it. So I'm just applying that. Oh, I've got a bit of extra product there. Just applying that to the centre of my eyelid. As I want this to be the main focus. Definitely applies better with a damp brush. Otherwise you're not really going to get much pigmentation. I'm going to try and go over that and just smooth out with my finger. Just to blend it in a bit better. That looks better now that I've blended that in with my finger. Going with the Rachel Leary palette and it's just this one and it is the Goddess on the Go palette. I'm just going to take the shade Red Velvet which is a burgundy shade. I'm just going to take it on a Zoeva fluffy brush and I pack the Red Velvet shade onto my brush. I'm just going to blend that into my crease and use that as a transition shade because I do want this to be quite a smoky look. So the look I'm going for today, I'm just kind of improvising as usual, but I'm just going for like a red burgundy, for like a burgundy kind of smoked out look. I'm surprised at the foil palette though, I expected it to be a lot better because it is, Revolution stuff is usually really pigmented, but I don't know if it's just because I have play around with it a bit and try to play around with it with my fingers but it's not as good with my fingers as it is with a brush so just bear that in mind if you are going to get it I'd recommend using a setting spray so I'm just keeping going in with the red velvet shade and just building it up and just defining it and deepening it and I just really want to create a smoky lid with that and do the same over here I'm just bringing it up quite high because I want it to be smoked out. I'm bringing that all the way down into the inner part of my eye too. Just like that. Next I'm going to go in with the palette again, the Foil Frenzy palette. Just that shade there fluffy brush now and just pick up a bit of that deeper purple colour and just blend that into the matte shade that I've applied which was red velvet and just bringing that up and blending that in a bit more. It is a deep brown colour. I'm really just focusing it on the outer corner there to get a smoked out look and just bring it in really gently 
because I want to keep this quite a burgundy look. So I don't want it to be too dark or too brown. I just want it to have a bit more definition to it. So I'm just bringing that down onto my eyelid as well at the same time. And that's just going to help deepen that colour. So I'm just going to go back in with that burgundy shade again, the metallic -y one. And I'm just going to just blend all of those two colours together. Just so they look a bit more seamless. And blend a bit nicer into the crease. So I'm just going to take a Zoeva smudger brush, and it's just a flat angled brush. Spray that game with some setting spray, just to wet it. You can use whatever really. And I'm just going to pack a bit more of that metallic shade on top, just so it shines through a bit better. You can still see it, but I just want it to be a bit more pigmented. In the centre of my eye, just to really reflect that light in the middle of my eye. Next, I'm just going to go in with some mascara and apply that to my lashes. I'm just using the Prime False Lash Queen mascara, and it does a job. I mean, I do quite like this mascara, but because I always wear lashes, I'm not fussy about mascara to be honest. Just going to take a flat angled brush. This is a Zoeva. Wing liner 317, I think it is. And I'm just going to take that bright colour again, which is just that one. And I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes. And it is quite a tricky one to apply with a brush, I'm not going to lie. You have to be really patient with it. Eyes. Like so. And then I'm just going to do the same this side also I forgot to say if you want to see me do my base I'll link another video here because I usually do it the same so I'll link a video to what I did for my foundation and my concealer So I've just popped that underneath and then I'm going to go in with, what shade do I want to go in with? And then I'm going to go in with the Rachel Leary palette again and I'm just going to take that shade Red Velvet. And I'm going to pop this shade just on the inner part of my waterline just to deepen it slightly. And it just ties in the look. And makes it a lot more intense as you can see. I love this colour. I'm just using the Sosu lashes from Primark because they're just really really nice and curly and I feel like they suit everyone's eye shape as well. They have so many different varieties. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows whilst that glue is drying and then I'm going to go in with my Primark brow pencil. And it just helps emphasise a really natural brow. It doesn't define it too much compared to brow pomades. It's a lot more natural. It's just so much easier. I used to use the Revolution and the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, but I'm actually happy enough with this pencil. And especially because you can brush it out and it still looks really good. And I do like my brows quite thick and bushy. And I'm just going to brush them out just to diffuse that colour a bit. And brush them up. And then I'm going to take my soap brows. Brow soap. And this is by West Barn Company, I think it's called. And I'm just going to spray a bit of setting spray into that. Just to emphasise them. It just gives it that really nice textured look. 
And you do kind of have to really pray about with your brows to get the fluffy brow look. So I've just popped on my Holly Lashes from Sosu and next I'm going to go in with the Rachel Leary palette from Revolution and I'm just going to take a bit of that bronzer shade called Caramel Slice and I'm just going to take that just to do my contour. Just gives a really nice colour and then I'm going to go in with the same palette and I'm actually just going to take the these two shades here and mix them together for a highlighter. It just gives a really nice champagne colour if you mix the two. So if I use get it popping on its own, it's too pale for my skin tone. And then if you really wanted to make it look a bit more in your face, you can go back in with a red velvet shade and just deepen that on the outer corner of the eye. And that just makes it look a lot more I'm, just, I'm also going to take a black liner and I'm just going to pop that on the upper eyelid and just on the corners of my eyes. I really else hate doing that, like it freaks me out. It's funny because like, I'm not freaked out by eyes, like I wear contacts every day and I'm fine but this is just something else. I'm just popping that on the outer part of my eyes and I'm going to start off with a nude lip balm so that's just the Jeffree Star Leo as usual and then I'm just going to lighten it a bit with the Maybelline Matte and Paulus in Driver And that is it with a nude lip. And I'm just going to add a peachy gloss. I'm just going to go back in with that CYO lip gloss. And I'm pretty sure this is a Boots brand. And then the only thing I forgot to do is my setting spray. And this is just the Revelation one. I've just put it in a travel bottle. But I actually put it in this on purpose because I prefer how this applies. And sometimes I mix in different things with it like I mixed like a hyaluronic spray with a bit of my setting spray and I just think it's like a two in one. Another thing I forgot to do as well I normally do do is I also like to go in with a bit of my highlight on my brow bone I just feel like this just makes my makeup pop and blends in a bit nicer too. I only take a tiny bit. I usually do it what's ever left on my brush and then I like just to pop a bit there too. And just down here, I can't remember if I did that or not, on my nose and then just my cupid's bow. It just adds a really nice shine. And that is a finished makeup look using these two palettes alone. So they're the two, um, Rachel Leary palette and the Revolution Foil Frenzy Creation palette. And I definitely recommend using them and applying them with your hand compared to a brush or using a wet brush and applying them because it does get out a lot more pigment. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll be doing weekly uploads. So I'm thinking 
Monday and Thursday. And yeah, so two times a week, please subscribe.